Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Temporum. Temporum is a game published by Rio Grande Games, Rio Grande Games. I'll say it different every time. You know what I'm saying. Designed by Donald X. Vaccarino of Dominion fame. Plays two to five players, ages 14 plus, in about 35 minutes. I might be a little short. We'll say 45. And effectively what you're doing in this game is, let's see if there's theme. I'll, you know how I'm a stickler about theme. Uh, let's see. As a time traveler, you've seen it all. And it all has its place. What's important is who's in control in the long run. When time travel is invented, with other time travelers mucking things for their own reasons, your course is clear. You will tamper with history as much as needed. Step on whoever, however many butterflies it takes to get a perfect world under your benign rule. Okay? So you're a time traveler traveling through reality from the past to the future, future to the past trying to basically take advantage of the actions that are going there, maybe change history so you have access to other actions that you can take. But ultimately what that boils down to is go to a space, either draw some cards, play some cards, score some cards, and try to be the first player to get all 10 of your crowns to level four, which is the present, okay? That's the gist of the game. Now, if you wanna see how that works, you can click the link in the video description and I'll play through maybe not a whole game, but a lot of the game and you can see the components there i'm not going to show them off because there's literally a board and some cards those are the components some a few tokens but not very many so i'm not really going to show those off so you can take a look at them in that video if you want otherwise stick around here and we'll talk about what we think about the game <music> All right, so if you did watch the playthrough, in that playthrough, I also used the expansion, which is called the Alternate Realities Expansion. I have everything in one box. Um, it basically just adds more cards, which may bring in some tokens and some uh, little special rules, but doesn't change the gameplay a ton. Just adds more of a good thing. So this game is interesting. It is, a, it is effectively a card game. The board is there as kind of a, a reminder of the actions that you can take, and so you can visually see the actual timeline, the real timeline, you know, the four spaces you can actually go to. And so you can have a little bit of manipulation to change the time if you want to. I don't necessarily know if the board is necessary, but um, it is a nice representation. It does give you something to move on. And it's basically there for a score tracker for your crowns, all that kind of thing. Now, let's talk about the gameplay. So if you watch the overview, even if you did it, there are piles of cards for level four, three, two, and one. Level one, you're only using one. I think there are like 20 cards. So it's gonna be different probably every time you play, okay? Level four, you're using four cards and there's still a pile of those cards. Now, one thing that I don't love about this is there's all those cards, all that variety and you're never changing them out in between, like during the game. You know, if I went to a location on four, maybe it would say switch a card up, that'd be awesome. But it doesn't have that. So the four cards in level four, well, four, the 10 cards that are on the board are the cards that are out there the whole entire game. Now, that's okay, but sometimes you may, if you're randomly shuffling, you may get some cards out there that are just not that interesting. Like the last game I played, we had one we never even used. It was uh, it was from the expansion, and it was like a simulation one where you go to this location, you take a simulation token, you put it on another action. Then when you go to that space, you can go take the action of that other card. That doesn't seem that exciting. I mean, you can just change time and go to that space and do the thing. It's not that big a deal. And then there are also times when level one, which is the past, is where you're gonna go most of the time to score cards. The card that just happened to come out would let you draw cards, play cards, or score cards. So people weren't even ever moving from that spot. There was one person that we played with, she stayed in that spot the whole entire time and almost won the game. Never did anything else. She would just draw cards, play cards, and score cards from that location. And that kind of takes some of the fun out of it. It basically just turns it into a do whatever you want kind of card game. So you're either gonna play, draw, or score, whatever you wanna do on your turn. And I don't know, I feel like that that's not as exciting as I was hoping. I feel like you should not You should have to move and it, the moving around the board should be a little more strategic as opposed to just staying in that location and doing the action. I get it, it's what happens, it's, it's how it worked. It's just, I don't know, it's not not that fun to me. So. 
yeah initially i was going to give this a bg and accept the seal but the more i play it the more shine comes off of it which is a little bit sad not that i hate it it's a fun game it's a cool interesting concept of cards the expansion does help but i just i don't know I've, after seeing how you could just stay in that same spot the whole time that kind of i don't know that kind of made me see some flaws in it so there we go so that is temporum from rio grand games and donald x vaccarino i'm jason with the board game mechanics and as always keep gaming